Chapter 2. That's Susan from work, Mrs. Pearson said. Susan? She asked the woman. What are you doing? Oh my god, I can't take it anymore, the woman said. We tried to... Tried. We really did. We can't just deal with this dog, she shouted to be heard over the puppies. Oh. Arkin. At the same time, a baby inside the car seat, inside the car, started to wail. And the two little born kids strapped in Max and began to scream, Mommy! 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 Lizzie walked over to the woman and then took the leash from her hand. Come on, little guy, she said, scoop, leaning down to scoop the excited puppy in her arms. Shh, quiet down. You're being silly. <laughs> let me down, let me down, the puppy wriggled and barked. What good was being in a new place that you couldn't explore? Oh, well, if he couldn't get down, he could at least make a new friend. <laughs> the puppy struggled a little. But then he seemed to decide that he liked being in Lizzie's arms. He gave a last few barks before he started to lick her face. Darn up her chin. He made all the way. Which made Lizzie get him. Because it took him so much. She couldn't believe how friendly the little guy was. After a grateful smile at Lizzie, the. The woman turned back to her car to talk to her children. Okay, guys, she said. She said, these people will take care of rascals. She buckled the kids' car seatbelt so they could climb out of the car. And she took the baby out of his car seat, setting him on her head. Rascal. Lizzie loved that name. It was perfect for the wild little puppy. Mom came over to give the woman a hug. Susan works with me at the paper. Burr, she explained to the rest of the family. She's a proofreader there. She catches all the mistakes in the article I write. By then, Charles had joined Lizzie. He was stroking Rascal's wily coat. What kind of dog's Rascal, he asked. He's a Jack Russell Terrier, Lizzie and Susan said at the same time. Time Lizzie had recognized nice Rascal's read the moment he saw it. He looked just like the Jack Russell in her dog reads of the world poster. Short and muscular with a stubby little tail. His ears stood up halfway and then flopped over. He had a sharp, pointy black nose and shiny black eyes. He was curious and ready for action. Susan nodded at Lizzie. So, you heard of this breed? I never had until my kids saw one in the movies. Once they saw that dog, they bugged and bugged and bugged me to get a Jack Russell Terrier. They thought that dog was the cutest darn thing they saw. Jack Russells are definitely adorable. Said, said Lizzie. See? So he went to a pet store and picked up oh, this puppy, Susan went on. He seemed like the friendliest one in his litter. A pet store? Lizzie knew that pet stores were not a good place to buy puppies. If Susan had gone her puppy from a breeder or a shelter, she would have learned a lot more about what to expect from Jack Russell Terrier. All those dogs were energy. Lizzie went, well, I know, that's why it probably wasn't smart. But those kids wore me down. How old is Rascal? Charles asked. About six months old. By this time, Rascal was ready to get down. He started turning his legs so much that Lizzie finally bent over and put him on the ground. Ground. He ran right past the flower bed and pounced on a red tulip, pulling Lizzie along. Hey, Mr. Peterson said. Get him out of the garden, Lizzie. Lizzie tugged on the leash. 
the rascal and ignored her. He pounced on a yellow two up and then another red one. He was so cute and funny to watch that for a moment. They all just stood there laughing. Finally, Lizzie poked him up away from the garden. Hey, what's the big deal? I was having fun. Rascal twirled around three times to the right, three times to the left, and then jumped up straight in the air a few times, barking the whole time. Ruff, ruff. By the time he finished, he forgot all about the tulips. Yahoo! The grass felt soft and good under his feet. Life was good. Anyways, he's a sweet little guy. He's so friendly and happy. But he's been nothing but trouble since we got him. Lizzie was... Susan explained. He barks. He jumps over the furniture. He chases the neighbor's cat. Cat. He chews everything. And he doesn't listen to a single thing I say. She jiggled the baby she's on. I just can't take anymore. I have three kids to take care of. We'll take him, Charles said. Said he was on his knees next to Rascal. Lizzie was holding the puppy's leash and Charles was trying to get him to shake his hand. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, kiddo, Mom said. I'm not so sure about that. But you told me about how you fostered all those other puppies, Susan said. I was hoping you can do the same for Rascal. Yeah, Mom, please, Lizzie said. We don't have to keep him forever. We can just be his foster family until we find the right home room. She looked down at the puppy, who was too... On Charles shoelaces. He was pretty cute for a little dog. Lizzie used to like big dogs much better, but Rascal seemed like such a fun puppy, even if he did a lot of bad habits. I'm sure we can train him to behave. The puppy, the kids have done a tremendous job with the other puppies we fostered, Dad reminded Mom. I know, dear, Mom said, but this puppy seems like lots of work. He's completely house trained, Susan said. He never makes mistakes. See, Mom, he's smart, Lizzie said. I'm sure he'll learn fast. He just needs more attention than Susan can get him. Well, Mom said seriously, if you're really ready to take this puppy on. Yay! Young Lizzie and Charles Nerd. Rascal sprang to his feet, feet and spun around barking. Woof, woof. Just in a blue car pulled into the driveway. Maria! Lizzie said. She had forgotten all about the riding lesson. And now she had the perfect excuse to put it off. Obviously, she was going to stay home and help with the new pup. Rascal, the troublesome puppy, had arrived at just the right time.